welcome back to another video now in today's video i'm going to be doing a, another unboxing <laughs> my favorite kind of videos uh firstly don't you just love my barbie yeehaw horse shirt i love it too and it fits the theme of today which i will be unboxing the barbie and brooklyn from the upcom upcoming netflix series <laughs> the great horse chase um, Shannon and I are going to do a separate video on our thoughts, honestly, I'm not going to delve too much into my thoughts at all because we have a lot to say together, <laughs> we have a lot of opinions as usual, um, not all great. <laughs> Anyways, um, but I am going to talk about these dolls, I really wanted to get both of these dolls even though I haven't always been the biggest fan of Brooklyn, but I wanted both these dolls because I am a horse girl, I'm absolutely horse crazy, I've been riding for two years now, I'm looking to buy my own horse, I've been reading the whole Saddle Club series this year, <laughs> like I love horse everything, so when I heard they were making a horse series I was so excited, and when I found this shirt at Big W I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> they literally designed this for me, a Barbie horse shirt and like it features a vintage Barbie that was so exciting for me. But I really want to have all the kind of Barbie equestrian dolls and so thus I wanted both of these girls. I've actually had Barbie for months but it took me ages to find Brooklyn and even then Brooklyn I only found in a specialty toy shop. For some reason all the major department stores only have Barbie and they're not stocking Brooklyn. I don't know why. I have seen the big animatronic horse and I've seen the two small styling horses. Um... But yeah, I want to unbox these. So they are very basic dolls. Um, from what I could tell, they aren't making a kind of deluxe doll for this. Even though these both cost like 25 each, which is crazy because back in the day, this would have been like $10. And then the deluxe one, which would have come with like a much better outfit or maybe two outfits and some accessories would have been around the $30, $35 mark. But no, not this time. <laughs> um, yeah, just both basic dolls. So the Barbie first I'll show you. She's wearing this gorgeous pink Argyle style outfit. Um, and they show a picture of the Netflix series there. And then on the back you can see her on the back of the horse that's going to be featured in the show. You can actually buy this horse. And then it just kind of shows some picture of Barbie and then a picture of the show again. Again, very simple. And then this one again, just Brooklyn. She's got uh, this lovely kind of diamond print vest. And then again, she has boxes identical to Barbie's really. She's riding the same horse. Just a close up picture of the doll and the series. So without further ado, let me unbox these. All right, here they both are out of box. Um, the first thing to note, oh, elastic there, they are fully articulated, which honestly you should expect from these because if they are to be put on the like play sets with the horses, you're gonna need their legs to like, you don't want them just sitting stiff on the horse like this, you know, you wanna be able to move their knees, although they don't really, oh yeah, they get apart a little bit, but you know what I mean? Like you would expect they'd be articulated so they could sit on a horse properly, um, but they are articulated at the knees and at the elbows. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I will show you Brooklyn first. So, She's got her braids, which is very cool. I love this. Um, I suffered a little bit from the box, but that's okay. Um, no jewelry, no accessories. Although when you do a horse ride, I, I mean, I wear earrings and a necklace, but I take my wedding ring off because I'm always scared I'm going to lose it. Um, I have to say, of course, which unsurprising, you know, the quality is just not there. Um, like the hair quality is great, but at least with both dolls, the quality just isn't there. Like back in the day, if this was made 20 years ago, this vest would have been an actual like vest that you could stick on and off and Velcro on and off, but um, it is just printed on a part of the shirt. Back in the day, these like ruffles here would have been real, but again, they're just painted on. I'm surprised they didn't just try to print the ribbon on too, but at least the ribbon's real. The shirt just undoes at the back and she's got, uh, pink 
riding tights to accent it. I probably like, oh, I don't know which outfit I like better. I do love the pink tights and the pink and blue, my favorite colors. And she's just got some black tall riding boots there. They do come off at the back. I suppose that's to get them on easier. I will show you my other equestrian Barbie I have from like 2004 and how much more deluxe she is. But yeah, that, that's just it. That's her. She's very simple. She comes with her, um, that's cool, her pink, her pink, that's clearly blue, Katie, her blue, um, get all of her hair out the way. Um, girls, you're supposed to tie your hair right back. It can be a danger. I got she cannot get her hair all the way back. Come on. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, this helmet so hard to get on. All right, <laughs> her blue riding helmet. So at least being safe while we ride. That's pretty cool. I like that. But overall, they're not the worst. Um, they don't make very like they've had a couple riding Barbies in the last few years, but nothing that looks equestrian. These at least. <laughs> These at least have the like riding boots and the riding tights and the helmet. Like they've made some just basic riding dolls in the past couple years that are like just wearing like jeans and a flannel. Of course some people do wear that but I love the equestrian fashion of the tall boots and like the dressage jackets or the jumping jackets. Like I love how fashionable it can look so. And Barbie again, basic, no jewelry or accessories. Again, her vest is printed on. These buttons are printed on. Like I said, back in the day, that just would not have happened. She's got light blue for her ribbon and her riding tights. And she's got a pink vest. I do really like this outfit too, though. And she's got brown boots. I actually really like these, probably more than Brooklyn's because these are brown and they've got this like little um, print here on the back of them. Now, you can take these elastics off. I meant to keep it on Brooklyn, but I didn't by accident. I'll probably leave it on because I like how it keeps the boots kind of more together. And yeah, her hair's just in her basic um, Barbie down hairstyle. Um, I wouldn't mind styling it to like a nice updo because again, you know, when you're horse riding, you have your hair up. <laughs> and she also comes with a super styling helmet in pink. All right, let me grab my other equestrian Barbie to show you the difference. Okay, so this one, I don't know exactly, I'm pretty sure she's from around 2004, 2005. So, but I mean, look at this, look at this detail. Like the boots feel a bit different. They're like a nice softer plastic. They're this beautiful brown. Her riding tights are probably the same kind of material, but they have this actual like, little style detail which you do get on some in real life and um, I love that this is like actually sewn on if they were to do this on the other ones you better believe this would just be printed on and this jacket come on look at the details like even the pockets are actually like they're not actual pockets but they're flaps to give the illusion of it they're not printed on you got actual buttons again they're just like decorative buttons but they're actually there you know and you just got this little you can take it off and she's got this little like necktie. I think it's meant to give the illusion of a shirt underneath it. She doesn't have a shirt underneath, but again, a real little gem there. And she's got earrings too, just little starter earrings. And she's got her actual helmet and her hair is tied back. <laughs> um, so you can just see the details versus um, the new one that doesn't mean I don't like the new one because I'm trying I'm not a hater at all of Like you know, there's people that just live to hate all the modern Barbie things like I can appreciate both for what they are But it's just crazy the difference in quality from this to this and it, it's just simple things like if this was just an actual vest with actual buttons That came on and off. That's it. That's all you need to do um I don't think it's that hard, but apparently, <laughs> apparently it is. <laughs> but anyway, I treasure both of them equally. All right, dolls, that's it for my unboxing of these two. Uh, you'll definitely see a thoughts video from coming from Shannon and I on the movie, <laughs> or the TV series, I should say. Um, we will be watching it, but we got thoughts before we even watch it. So, <laughs> anyways. 
Thanks for watching dolls. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.